Let's make in Blender this viral 3D text posters like Graphic on Elu. In this beginner friendly Blender tutorial I'm dropping the easiest text to create your own custom 3D lettering using totally free softwares. No skills, no Adobe Illustrator needed. We are turning the lettering into clean 3D text, leveling it up with Pro Lightning and materials and finishing with a crisp poster background. If you want eye-catching Blender animations, this is your upgrade. You can download all files for free on my Patreon, link is in the caption, and let's move on. Custom Font You can download the vector graphic and skip this part. If you want to create your own lettering, Start by searching online a reference image that matches the style you are going for. I use this one. Upload the reference to ChatGPT and use a prompt like this. You can copy and paste it and once ChatGPT generates the lettering, save the image. Since Blender doesn't handle vectors directly from ChatGPT, we will convert this graphic next into a SVG vector graphic. To do that, open the free online Adobe Image to SVG converter, drop the image into the converter and download the SVG. Now you can drag the file straight into Blender, delete the background with the X key and let's go! 3D objects. First, we are creating the blue frame around the text. Select the first letter. In the Object Data, Geometry section, increase the Extrude value until you get a nice thickness. Make sure all letters use the same settings. Then select everything, right click, convert to Mesh and again join all letters into one object. Duplicate this object twice, rename one copy text and the other frame. Hide the text layer for now, we will come back later to it. Select the frame object, jump into Edit Mode. Grab the loop cut tool, set one cut and change number of cuts to 3. Change to the area selection, use the Alt and Shift key at the same time to make a loop selection. Now it's time to extrude. Use the extrude along normals tool to pull the frame outward evenly. To finish it off, add a subdivision surface, set both levels to 3 and now we are done. Now we are creating the bubble text. Unhide your text object again, scale it a bit in the z-axis and remove any leftover materials so you can see the mesh clearly. Right now the geometry is too jacked to inflate properly, so we will clean it using a remesh modifier. Lower the voxel size until the shape looks smooth and detailed, then apply the modifier. Switch to the sculpt mode, select smooth brush Make it large and gently smooth the entire object. Take your time, Art Invaders. This smoothing step helped the lettering inflate evenly. We will also remesh the frame object so it matches the text. Apply its subdivision first, then add the same remesh settings as before, apply it and give it a quick smooth pass in the sculpt mode. Once both pieces look good, scale them slightly on the z-axis for a rounded inflated feel. Rotate everything by 90 degrees on the x-axis, set the origin to the center of mass and reset the object location to zero. Let's add some details and let's start with the ring. Add a Bastia circle and change the radius in the pop-up. Then give it some thickness in the data tab by rising the depth. Smooth it out by setting the resolution to 30 for both viewport and renderer. Now let's drop the sphere onto the ring, add a sphere, scale it down and set the size to something like 0.01. Under object relations make the curve its parent and now the spheres on the ring. Adjust the whole rotation of the object and don't forget to shade smooth. Next add a camera and set the resolution to 1080 by 1080 pixels. Add a plane for the background and to finish it off, sprinkle a few more spheres around the scene as decorative details. Yay! We are done with the 3D object part. Do you want this project file? Support my channel on Patreon. Link in caption. There you will get access to over 60 Blender projects. With your help, I can continue making videos. Thank you for your support, Art Invaders. 
Lighting. Change in viewport number four. In the world setting, add a sky texture and change the strength to keep the environment light soft. Next, add an area light at the bottom. Scale it so it covers the whole scene and change the power value. Copy and paste the area light at the top. Set this one to power around 4. Make it a bit smaller to get those clean reflections on the upper surface and delete the material of the frame. And finally, add the point light in the front, change the power and size value. We are done with the lightning. Materials. For this part we use the free add-on Blender Kit. It is a built-in online asset library for Blender that provides models, materials, HDRIs and more. Blender Kit is already integrated into Blender. Go under Edit, Preferences, Get Extensions and search for Blender Kit. And after installation you find it here on this side. We start with the frame. Choose material and search for blue plastic glossy. Double click to apply the material. We are using the same material for both, for the text and for the frame, but we still want individual control. Delete its old slot, duplicate the material for the text and paste the blue one back in. Now switch that one to white and increase the IOR to 2 for extra glossiness. Next, let's add some texture to the blue material. Add a displacement node, an image texture and a mapping node. Connect them to the texture coordinate node using the UV output. Then load the displacement map, available on my Patreon. Change the size under mapping and to see the whole displacement, go under material, settings and set it to displacement and bump. Change the size in the displacement node. Ambient occlusion is removed from the render settings, but it still exists, just inside the materials. Drop in a mix shader, color ramp and ambient occlusion node. Slide the color ramp to a DL in the contrast. Copy then the setup into the right material too. Let's create a glass material for the ring. Create a new material. Delete the principal BSDF and add mix shader, glossy, transparent and layer weight. To boost the quality, switch it to blended and make sure you turn these check marks on. Now just assign all materials to the remaining objects and you are done. You can download the finished poster background on my Patreon and skip this part. If you want a custom poster background, render the background alone and save it as PNG. Next render your 3D object separately with a transparent background. Just go to render, film and choose transparent. For the next step, we use the free beginner-friendly video editing software CapCut. It offers quick tools, effects and templates for creating polished videos. In CapCut, drop in the background first, then place the 3D object on top. Hide the 3D object for a moment so you can line up all your background elements cleanly. I'm also giving you a symbol pack with transparent backgrounds. You can drag and drop them straight into CapCut. Add your text with the text tool. I'm using the Poppins font here. Stretch everything to 5 seconds so the timing matches. If your background looks too dark, brighten it up. Select it, go to adjust and push the values until you get a clean white graphic on Elo style. Now export the video without the 3D object. Back in Blender, create a new background material and drag the exported video onto it. Plug it into base color and tweak metallic and roughness until you get an exact look you are after. We are done with the materials. Animation. Set your timeline to 150 frames and let's animate. First we animate the sphere on the ring. Move the animation slider to frame 0, select the spline, open the data tag and go to path animation. Under keyframe evaluation time, put a 0, then jump to the end of the animation and keyframe it at 100. Next we animate the text with the 3D ring. Go back to frame 0, select text, the frame and the ring, hit the keyframe button. 
slightly adjust the position on rotation to set automatically a keyframe. Copy the first keyframe, jump to the last frame and paste it in for a perfect loop. Then move the animation slider to a point that you like, change the position and rotation and a new keyframe get automatically set. And don't forget your decorative spheres, repeat there also the process. Now let's make the whole animation linear, so everything moves in constant speed. Press A to select all objects, open the graph editor, press A again to select all curves, go to key interpolation mode and choose linear. And that's it, animation done. Render settings. Done. Eevee has leveled up, now delivering nearly cycles quality with a really really low render time. Here's how to unlock the Eevee magic. First open the shadow settings, set rays to 3 and steps to 16 for clean denoised shadows. Turn on ray tracing for realistic reflections. Next go under fast GI approximation. <laughs> Set steps to 16 for a crisp lightning. Now jump to the output settings. We are rendering a video. In color adjustment, choose base contrast and adjust your white balance. Under encoding, select 10-bit color depth and high quality. That's it. Stunning results with a render time of 4 to 6 minutes. Perfect quality, super fast and super easy. And we are done with the tutorial. Do you have any theme suggestions? Write it in the comments or send me your artwork examples on social media. I have Instagram and TikTok. You find the link in the caption. Thank you for watching and we we'll see us in the next week, Art Invaders.